What's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm Ray Command and I've missed you guys. I know it's been a while. Hopefully you've missed my presence as well. But today we're going to be talking about the Retrobit Sega Saturn controllers. As you can see here. This is the more of a Japanese style controller for the Sega Saturn. I do have an original Saturn controller that I've had for quite a while already. I've had these type of controllers for the Saturn since pretty much they were released here in the US decades ago. <laughs> And I kind of want to go over what I my thoughts on this controller since I just received it about two weeks ago. So in case you guys were thinking about buying it, you know, let's give my thoughts. So the first thing is, this is the original controller. The motherboards are a little different on the inside. You're not, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell with the light, but this is the retro bit controller here. And here is... The actual Sega Saturn controller. Kind of see the inside, you know. Fortunately, you know, I'm not gonna open these up this review, <laughs> but they are different. In the back, it's the same thing. You can kind of see where the cabling is there, which is the retro bit controller, and where the connectors are. On this one, you're gonna see it's not even in the same orientation. Now, in terms of the way the plastics feel. They feel identical. So they did a good uh, job on the shells here. And they feel identical. The D-pads, I'm very happy with both D-pads. They both work phenomenally for me. I have no issue. Star buttons, they both have that same rubberized texture, which makes me happy. And the buttons feel the same on the front. They are shinier on the actual setting controller. So let me see if I can uh, you kind of see that they're, they have like a semi-gloss to it on the original Sega controller here. On the RetroVic controller, they're a little bit more matte. So you, as you can see, they're not shiny at all. So, you know, for you guys that like shiny or semi-shiny things, maybe you want to try to find an original one in good condition. But th those are the big basic differences on the controller in the front. Now the big difference is that the original Saturn controllers have micro switches on the shoulder pads. So you can hear it. And these are, I guess, just normal uh, rubber membranes. I haven't opened it up to find, to, to find out if that's the case, but they don't have micro switches. No. They feel fine for the most part. They still have kind of like a little bit of push, but it doesn't it, it doesn't compare to a micro switch. But they work fine. I mean, I've played a lot of Street Fighter with them, some Dark Stalkers, and I'm I'm happy with the way it feels. Of course, if I have a choice between the two, I'm gonna go ahead with the original Saturn controller. Now, in terms of prices, you're probably gonna pay more for this than for this, and a minor difference like that may not be a big deal to you guys. So that's something to think about. Also with the original controller, I mean the cord is about, I believe this is six feet worth of controller here. On the retro bit controller, the trade-off is you're gonna have about 10 feet. So it's like super long. So <laughs> you have a very low controller, so you don't have you won't maybe you won't need an extension cord or to plug in a Saturn extension cord to the controller, which I have to do most of the time with the original. So that's something to consider. These, if I remember correctly, they hover around the $20 range, which is actually not bad for a Saturn controller. And if you are a Saturn collector or a Saturn fan, you know that even a couple of years ago, it was super hard to find stuff for the Saturn. Like I remember there was a time where S video cables were starting to shoot up in price on even on eBay because you couldn't find them. Same thing with the controllers. So the fact that there's new controllers that are of good quality makes me happy. Also, in terms of, I like, like I said, I like the controller. When you compare it to even options as, this is an original Saturn controller. This is the what it was released with here in the US. This controller works fine, but I actually like the retro bit controller. Let's put them together. I like the retro bit controller much, much more than this original model Sega Saturn controller. If I had the choice between the two, I would actually go with this one. Even though this one also has the micro switches. But just the feel of this, I'd rather go with the feel of, you know, the this this style of a uh, uh, Saturn pad. 
in terms of third party controllers, you also have, I mean, you used to find stuff like this all the time. It works, but it's garbage. Like, like please, like, you know, who cares, right? <laughs> then you had things like this that kind of look like a Saturn controller. It says Sega, but I highly doubt <laughs> that it was Sega. I mean, this has turbo options on the side, but I've barely even used this, and look, the, the microcontroller is broken on this side. So the micro switch is broken. Like, that's, that's terrible. And it, it just feels cheap. It has a, you know, the shape is good, but this third party controller sucks. So, so far, that's looking pretty good for the retro bit controller. I also kind of want to go over compatibility, which is actually a basic thing. So I actually tried it out with the Saturn's version, I mean, the Saturn's version of the multi-tap here, and I played some Bomberman and it worked just fine. There was no compatibility issues. I plugged it into every single slot on this thing, which is quite a few as you can see. And it worked fine. I had no issues with it. The, the games all booted correctly. I was able to get in. If anybody has any different experiences with that, please uh, put it in the comments below or let me know so I can test it out myself. But as far as I've tried, it's been good. I tried it with Guardian Heroes as well. Worked just fine, no issues at my end. And so overall for the price, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with what you got. You know, I kind of want you guys to see my shirt there. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me a second. But um, in terms of the controller itself, I'm, I'm happy. For the price, it's a definite recommend. I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, the packaging was very simple. Just it was literally the box and the controller. Like, nothing else to it. Playing around with it, like I, said, I, was pl I played a lot of Street Fighter, a lot of 2D Saturn stuff, even some 3D stuff. But you know, obviously, this is made, but it's the best controller for 2D games. The D-pad felt very nice. You know, it's a nice, kind of nice pivot point. It's responsive. And I have seen some reports online about you know the D-pad breaking. I haven't had any issues with it. You know, you know, you know if I, and I'm jabbing it pretty hard right now. If for some reason it breaks, I'll definitely be letting you know either in the comments, or it'll be on Twitter or some anything. But so far I haven't had any issues with it. And I've had it a couple of weeks. I've played it quite a bit. Uh, my girlfriend's played with it. We've had no, no issues so far. It's been good. So overall for the price, it's a definite recommend. I'm happy with it. Pick it up if you need Saturn controllers, especially if you're new to Saturn and you, know, you don't want to pay all these crazy eBay prices, especially get one of these imported from Japan or something, the original one. So go for it. Of course, thank you very much for watching. My name again is Recommend. And don't forget to rate, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. You, know, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram under Recommend. Thank you and have a great day.